In this video, I'll show you how to add a watermark to your YouTube videos. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do to add a watermark to your YouTube videos is go to the top right on YouTube and go and tap on your profile picture and then go to YouTube Studio. Then once you're on your YouTube studio, you may have actually noticed that in the top right, I've got this extra button called TubeBuddy and TubeBuddy is a free tool which you can go and use to go and sort of help you make your YouTube videos. It's really awesome and I'll put a link down below which is an affiliate link which helps the channel and no extra cost to you. But back to the video, the next thing we need to go and do is go and get a watermark to actually go and add to our videos. So I've actually gone and created one which you could go and use, but you can also go and create your own using tools like Canva and there are many other online photo editing tools you can use as well but if you're interested in using mine I've gone and put a link down below you can go and go to it it's going to go and look like this on Dropbox and what you can do is go and right click on it and go and tap on save image as or just go and tap on download in the top left as well then once you've saved it or downloaded it to your computer then you can come back to YouTube and then what you need to do is go over to the left hand side and go and tap on customization uh, in this row of options here near the bottom and then once you're on the customization page, then go to the top where it says channel customization. Then just beneath channel customization, you need to go and tap on branding and scroll down until you go and see the option for video watermark. And it says the watermark will appear on your videos in the right hand corner of the video player. And it does say here an image that's 150 by 150 pixels is recommended. Use a PNG, GIF, BMP or JPEG file. Personally, the one I went and shared with you was a PNG file. So if you use that, that's going to be fine. But you can also go and create your own, but just just make sure that it fits these rules here. And if it does, then you can go and tap on upload like this and your file at Sproul will open and you need to go and find the file that you just downloaded or created. And I've just gone and found it now. So I'm then gonna go and tap on open. And as you can see, we can now go and customize it. So to be honest, I'm quite happy with that, but you can go and make it bigger or smaller, it's up to you. And then once you're happy with it, press done in the bottom right and there it is. As you can see, you can now go and see it and that's how it's going to look. And you can then go and choose the display time, which is when it's going to be appearing. For me, I like it to be the entire video and that's it. If you're happy with it, then go to the top right and go and tap on publish like so and give it a moment and then it's going to be on your videos. And that's gonna be automatically added to all your videos and that's it. If you want to go and remove it, all you need to do is go back there and you can go and remove it or go and change it if you'd like. And here we are on one of my videos. And as you can see in the bottom right, we've now gone and got the subscribe watermark and button. And that's it, guys. You can hover over it and there'll be a subscribe button appear. 